I want to go back to the third thing, which was getting that team together. So how many of you have ever heard of the central dogma of molecular biology? Raise your hand. See, you're, you're too siloed. I never heard of it either. How many of you know the word DNA? <laughs> so let's see if you read the second page. How many know the word RNA? Okay, I'm, I'm pushing my luck here. How many know the word protein? <laughs> Building blocks of life. So look at the next thing that I just learned. The central dogma of molecular biology is that DNA becomes RNA becomes protein. And for years they thought, think of DNA leader, RNA manager, protein out the door execution. This natural law has been available to us all our lives. And if you think about it, what does a DNA, what does transcription mean? Well, transcription means that I'm not actually building something, but the manager has to be able to transcribe whatever the heck's in my head to something they can execute and build something. Make sense? And, and what's really interesting is, uh, since this was discovered by people named Watson and Crick, who you probably never heard of, uh, is they now see that RNA can do something called reverse transcription. And what that means is managers can actually affect the visionary engine. But you have to have a different relationship. You can't just make the manager someone just get it done. I mean, there is input. And downstream, what we're finding is user experience can affect the DNA. There's all parallels like this in living systems. Years ago, it was believed that your brain cells, once they're made, they're made. You're stuck. And now there's something called neuroplasticity which means that if you immerse yourself in something in your present life, you can actually change your neurology and the neural pathways. Now what I don't see here is if protein is user experience, a feedback loop to DNA. Uh, but because a lot of these systems are parallel, they might discover that. And here's an interesting thing. If you look below, it says DNA going directly to protein without using RNA. And what it says is this is special, it's done in a test tube, DNA to protein. Well, if you talk to any CEO, especially an entrepreneur, and if they're honest, what they will tell you is that the number one word that entrepreneurs hate in business is people. They hate the word people. As soon as they hear the word people, in their mind they're saying, where's HR, where's HR, where's my COO? Because if you're a visionary and you see things clearly, people just mess it up. And what's happening, and we're in, you're in denial, I'm dead, so you know, I'm, I'm cool in my heels. Uh, but what's happening is entrepreneurs are licking their lips at replacing people with technology 24-7, no lawsuits, you send in maintenance, you don't have to listen to excuses. Uh, this is heaven. Uh, and they're, and, well, what do you do with the people? Well, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll find jobs for them. Oh yeah, there are all these people who we're displacing, who are intimidated by technology, oh, we're gonna reboot them in STEM education. Right. But that's where it's going. Can you see that? Because it's much more efficient. And again, it's not my problem, it's your problem. But I think, again, if you, if you can take this and embed it into you, it, can you see the parallel? Because what I didn't do is I didn't take my DNA and put it into Tim Cook or Johnny Ive so that it could really continue making disruptive protein. It could only make the same protein. That makes sense? And so I'm coming back to connect dots about what, so, so how do you, what do you notice and think like as a visionary? 